<laughs> That's not good. I'm gonna go bankrupt. Cameron. <laughs> We're not gonna penalize you on <laughs>
Good line. Back edge, probably. Yeah. Okay, let's go. How soon did you know it was gassed and three potable? How soon off the face? Error detection kicking. Pretty soon. Pretty soon. Yeah. Mm. Kind of a little bit rough. What sort of picture but... do you putt to? What sort of picture do you putt to? What sort of what? Do you putt to a picture? Do you, oh, to, yeah, sorry. Do you, do you stand yeah. over it with some yeah. sort of picture of yeah. where it's going to roll, yeah. the pace it's going to roll either through a point or to a point yeah. with. That all happens in my think box, behind the ball. Oh my God, it's not in your play box? No. Oh my God, it needs to be in your play box. There is, there is as I trace, tracing the curve, that, yeah. that's in Okay. Yeah. But all of the decision making is done in my think oh, box. Oh, sure, sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. The pre-planning's the pre back there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the execution is more often than not informed by the picture you're creating because that picture is direction and also the force. Do you yeah. agree? Yeah. yeah. And so that picture is how much speed is this ball going to be rolling in the hole with perhaps, right? Yeah. Is it going to be dripping over the edge? Is it going to be hitting the back edge? Foot pass, Where two feet is it pass, going to be captured? Yeah. Sure. Right. Yeah. We got action. We got action. Down 50. We're going to bounce back now. So you see this orange stuff that's kind of sticking out about 80 yards, 90 yards yeah. out there? That's kind of your center. Okay. And then right edge of left bunker, left edge of right bunker. One twenty seven. Trying to land it all the way there. <coughs> the Even with the, with the low trajectory. Yeah, one or two short, so 127, 124. So the wind is? In off the right, 10 mile now. Yeah. I'd say it hurts with a low trajectory, six to eight. Okay, yeah. so that's 124 goes to 130. Yeah, I was thinking a low, I don't think it's really gonna jump from that lie, so okay. like a low 130, 130. should, yeah, low 130. You might like it. We might get some bounce back money here. Good one. Nice job. Up 25. 256, 241. Okay, so we need to cover 241. I shall try. So there's the wind. Probably landing it just a couple short of the hole. 255, call it. Okay. Where's our wind? Down off the right. Yeah. Not a ton of it. Yeah. Kind of like four o'clock almost. Yeah, I'm feeling it because if I hit a fade, it's going to be quite fighting almost into it. What do we have behind it, Cam? We've got a lot behind it. Plenty probably behind 25. it. 25. Yep. Plenty behind so it. Let's not play any help because we're trying to get it there, right? So yeah. 255, let's just play 255 normal, especially if it's going to cut. Yeah. Bit of win. Come on. Stay up. How soon did you, did you know that one was 15 feet short? As soon as it got to the top of the hill. Mm -hmm. So in your brain, off the club phase, you thought, yep, I hit it at a speed that's going to yeah. get it around the hole. Yeah, mm -hmm. I thought, yeah. Just didn't factor enough wind and not enough. Yeah. Did you have a, a clear picture of that ball being around the hole before you hit it? Yeah, yeah. did, yeah. Mm. Okay, so 192, there's a little slope that'll kind of release this down to the hole. I think it's probably eight short, so 92 you said, so 84 is our target to land. We've got wind, what do you think, just straight behind us? Yeah, a bit off the left. Okay, so 184, Less nine down. or 10? Yeah, I'd say, I'd say eight or so, so 76. 76. Yeah. Okay. 
What iron's that? This is a seven. Handy. Win 25 or lose 50 right here. That's right. So you mentioned like post shot stuff. I think it can, it can continue until we get here. As a caddy, this was something that I wish I had learned yeah. when I was in college. You landed that, what is that, probably seven short. Yeah. So that's 85. And it didn't release at all. So you can take that with you. If you were playing 18 holes, you know now, okay, we didn't need to land it seven short because it's not going to release seven with yeah, a yeah. full seven Depending iron, right? On the wind, yeah. And then there's a hole over there that is the same direction. The wind's going to face the same direction. So you're going to know kind of how it affected it, right? We could have played either less wind or we could have tried to hit it farther. And if you're, if you do that on the second hole, the third hole, the fourth hole, by the time you get to 17, 18, you know how far the wind is affecting each shot. Mm -hmm. And you know how far a lot of your clubs are going in that specific moment. Yeah. That was one thing that, like, as a caddy, you have to do. I can tell Harry, hey, three holes ago, we had the same wind direction. Your seven iron, you nutted it. It went 195 or whatever it was. So you can kind of use that as a baseline the rest of the yeah. day. Similar to the shot you hit on the par three that air the green. We probably could have had a little bit less for elevation stuff, but yeah. the wind didn't really touch it. Yeah. Right? So you can kind of use that as a gauge. Like, okay, we were playing 15 yards of wind on that hole. And we didn't get it. So yeah. if we have a straight into the wind shot coming up and you're gonna flight it again, yeah. maybe just go to 10. Yeah. So on course, process. The process, as long as it reflects what we started to see, as we stopped talking about other stuff unrelated to performance, as we got through those first two holes, yeah. I like. Okay. The more information you gather, the more accurate the choices that you're gonna make and the more rewarded you'll get for the quality of execution that you can demonstrate. Yeah. The expectations, they simply need to be high. You play around and are around other, if when you do, when you are around other world-class players, you will recognize that they have expectations yeah. that are super mistake intolerant. Yeah. Right? They expect the best and it's a double-edged sword. They'll oftentimes uh, carry on being mistake intolerant because it strives or causes them to strive and work hard to chisel out the small differences between um, a 25 foot miss or a 40 foot eagle attempt versus having something inside of 30 feet. So mm -hmm. at the top of the pyramid, the difference between number one versus number 25 in the world versus number 100 in the world, it's small. And given that those differences are that small, it demands that your work and also your attitude towards excellence always mm -hmm. be high. The other side of that is that there is a um, error forgiveness, almost a mistake amnesia that they have that allows them to work hard to trim the fat on the things that prevent them from hitting excellent shots. Uh, that they'll, they won't carry the burden of or the weight away from poor shots as much as sometimes others do. Mm -hmm. So this mistake amnesia is almost a superpower. So um, navigating that pathway is difficult and we'll continue to talk about those things. Mm -hmm. uh, that kind of anchors to your self-critical piece there, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. And then the post-shot routine, I think Al synchronized that point really, On really well. On the last well. hole, yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. All right, cool. how are you, 25? You do. <laughs> Thanks, Al. <Mark. laughs>